What's going on you guys? This is MXKDI here with another HP Pro 3405. This is the micro tower. This video is going to be disassembled to you now. I'll show you how to do that. So what you need is uh, you need a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and you will need a Torx T15 screwdriver. And what you're going to do is uh, you're going to wear, make sure you wear latex gloves if you want. And you're going to move the, the side cover panel. They're going to be thumb screw right here. So you're going to unscrew that. And you're going to slide it to the left like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start off from the from front cover basil right here. And you're going to, oh, there's a clips right here, you check your finger like this, you lift them up gently to move the front cover basil right here. And what you're going to do is, is you're going to, we're going to unscrew the optical drive here. And you're going to be using Torx T15 screwdriver. And you're gonna slide this to the right, like the right side, and you're gonna disconnect the SATA and power from the optical drive, and it's got a secure clip right here. So you're gonna take your finger like this and disconnect this. See right here the secure clip for the SATA power. And optical drive SATA right here it has a clip too, so you have to press on it to release it. And for you to remove the power supply, you have to remove the optical drive. And okay, so what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna slide here to the side like this. And you're gonna do is disconnect the 24 pin and 4 pin right there for the power. And it does have a secure clip. So, what you do is take your finger like this here and you release it to release the 24 pin right here, lock right here, the clip. Same with the 24 pin right here. It's got a secure clip right in the middle that you have to press on it to release it right here. Can you see the little clip? Okay, now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go on the back side right here. And I'm gonna use a Torx T15 screwdriver. You have to remove the four screws on the back from the power supply. And now we're gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna remove the. Right here, this little clip right here, a little clip right here. This little bracket right here, it's hold the PCI brackets right here, the secure clip. So what you have to do is unscrew it too, use a Torx T15 screwdriver, like just like that, and remove the PCI brackets. Remove the PCI brackets. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect the, he's got three screws here for the rear system fan, it's a 92 millimeter, and you have to use a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, now the last screw here. So remove the three screws here. This is for the rear system fan. And the fan is right there and just disconnect it. It's a 92 millimeter, three wire, three pin. Now we're gonna go ahead and slide it to the other side. And I'm gonna try to remove the power supply, show you guys how to do that. Okay, there's a, there's gonna be a clip right there. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, you can't see. Okay, so there's gonna be a clip right there. So what you have to do is you got to press on a screwdriver right here and let me disconnect this, uh, the front panel right here. You're going to disconnect and the USB right there. Okay, there's going to be a clip right here. Can you see? And you're going to take a screwdriver like this and you're going to press it down on the clip, secure clip to release the power supply. And it comes right out like that. Really, And... And you're gonna disconnect it from the disconnect the power for the hard drive, set in power, and it's gonna have a secure clip too on there. So what you're gonna do is you take a finger like this on the back side like this and disconnect it. So it does have a secure clip right here too for the hard drive. It's gonna be in the back side to press on it. 
So the power supply is removed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove the hard drive. And you're gonna you have four screws here. So here are the four screws here for the hard drive. And the hard drive just slides out like this, comes right out. Now we're gonna remove the optical drive here. Slides right out too. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna remove the memory here. It's a DDR3. Now what we're gonna do is make sure everything's disconnected from the motherboard. Remove the SATA cables, disconnect the SATA cables from the motherboard. Now uh, make sure everything's disconnected. There's a front panel switch right here in the corner, top about top right corner right in the bottom. Yeah, get that disconnected right there. And I'm just gonna go around the front like this. And we're gonna remove the front right here. It's for the USB and audio headphone front panel. So there's a little clip right here, you press it down and it slides right out, it slides right up. And just remove it. So it comes right out. Now we're gonna go back to, we're gonna do the power switch right here a little, and it's gonna hold by the clip too right here. So just stick your finger and it comes right out really easy. And this is for the front power switch, power LED, hard drive LED. And it's hold by the one clip right here. Securely you press your finger with the screwdriver flathead and, and, and it comes right out. It's... Okay, that's removed now. We're gonna go back to we remove the heat sink and fan for the processor. Cooler. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect. You're gonna use uh there's got four screws, uh two in the bottom, two in the top. Okay, so, so we disconnected the heatsink fan for the processor, and you're gonna disconnect the four pin right here, to connect to the motherboard for the fans, and it's a four wire, four pin. Okay, now what we're gonna do is uh, remove the processor, and just stick your finger like this, the little clip right here, and you lift it up. And what you, before you do that is we're gonna wipe down the thermal compound off the processor. Come on, get your fingers dirty. So I'm gonna wipe down the thermal compound before removing the processor. Just like that. Okay, now we're gonna remove the processor. Now what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna remove the motherboard, It'll be the last part. So it's got a three screws on the top three in the middle and two in the bottom. So total eight screws here. So I'm gonna start up in the bottom. So total eight screws that the motherboard have. So there's two in the bottom. And there's three in the middle right there. Yeah, if you don't have a screwdriver, Torx T15, you can use a flathead perfectly fine to remove the motherboard. And this, so the three last screws right here in the top. So, through, so we got the last screw here. So the total will be eight screws here. That's remove the, if you're gonna remove the motherboard, you have to remove the eight screws. Okay, so now what you do is, uh, you should take your finger like this and you lift up the motherboard like that and it comes right out. 
and be the last part is I'm gonna be removing the CMOS battery right here so this little clip right here take a flat ass screwdriver like this press on the clip and it comes right out the battery CMOS battery so here's the motherboard we just removed and that's about it. I'm gonna do the last part is the backplate IO shield right here so what you guys have to do is uh so to do remove the backplate IO shield you're gonna take a screwdriver in the back and you tap it like this and it comes right out backplate IO shield to remove but really careful uh, you don't want to hold this here really gently because it's got sharp edges so but that's gonna be it guys this is a disassembler teardown of the 3405 micro tower this is MXKDI here thanks for watching bye